Hello and welcome to gatewayapi.com. Today I will be showing how you can use webhooks to set up two-way communication using Gateway API. First you go to settings, then webhooks. From here I can administrate existing webhooks or add new ones. I add a new one and I call it my webhook. The name can be used to differentiate between different webhooks as you can also use webhooks for status reports on sent messages. Before I can really set up my webhook, I need some code to run in the background. For my example, I use the Python Flask library and I make a simple service that will receive incoming messages. In my simple service, I check if the message reads register or cancel and send back a corresponding answer. If it reads anything else, I say I do not understand your message. I now run my Python script, which will be hosted on my local host and then I use a tool called ngrok to make a tunnel to my local host so this can actually be accessed from the internet. ngrok will give me a URL that I can copy and use as my webhook URL. I go back to the backend, put in my webhook URL, I save my webhook and then I go to keywords and I assign the keyword test-1860 which is my account ID and it's a free test keyword that is given to every account. Now, any message that starts with test-1860 and is sent to the Danish shortcode 1204 will be received on my webhook. So from my phone, I send a message to my keyword to 1204. I write cancel, and we will then see the message that I get back. It says test service, we're sorry to let you go from my webhook. If you need anything else, you can go to gatewayapi.com. From here you can find a link to our documentation. You can write us on our live chat. Or you could go to our YouTube channel and watch our other video guides.